If there's one thing I've learned dating men, it's that doing less will always get you more. What do you mean by that? Always. I feel like a lot of women have a tendency to think, like, when you start liking him, you're like, oh, okay, I like him. Let me cook him dinner. Let me see if I can pick him up from work. Let me buy his meal sometimes. You start thinking, if I do all of this, then he will see what a catch I am. It's having the opposite effect, I promise. Have you ever heard a man... Have you ever heard a man be in a relationship with a woman or he's like, I liked her because she did so much for me? Was it a healthy relationship that it looked like you want to be a part of? Did it seem like he respect her? Did it seem like he really loved her? Or did it sound like she was made? When oh, it sounds like you had a bad experience that maybe you were doing some stuff and it didn't get appreciated or something like that. Don't know the whole context of the story, but it's always interesting to hear women like you talk about this type of stuff. First of all, men don't walk around talking about their relationship like that. That's what women do. Men don't sit around and cackle like little women about their relationships back and forth and all this stuff. And then you say, well, does it seem like she was happy? How do you know if she was happy or not? You're just assuming. You don't want her to be happy because you're not happy. That's the truth. Men like you, they want to give to you. When men like you, no matter what they have, whether they're rich, poor, or somewhere in between, they want to give to you because they know that that's what it's gonna take to get more of her time. If I have to buy her lunch, I'm gonna buy her lunch because I need some more of her time. Wow, so it's all transactional. So do you have like a chart where it's like, okay, $10 equals this much time, $100 equals that much time? You sound like the oldest profession in the world. The 3044 golden standard. That's what you sound like. Women like you, that's exactly what you're putting out there because you're equating all your value to what a man is going to spend on you. That makes you no different than the common girl walking the streets doing what she shouldn't be doing. Is that really your worth, your value? See, men are catching on to this. Men do not want to deal with women like this. Men are tired of wasting their money, tired of playing this. I got to pay for your time game and all that. When most of these women ain't worth nothing. They're not worth a nickel, let alone $5. They ain't worth nothing. They have no value. They just think they can show up and act any kind of way because they just are women with body parts. If I have to pick her up from work, I'm gonna pick her up from work. Whatever it takes to get some more of her time. If I have to get her tires fixed, then I'm fixing them tires. Whatever it takes to get more of their time. When they like you, they want to do all that stuff. But you as a woman, when you start thinking, how do I make him like me? Oh, let me go do this, that, and the third. You already lost, you already lost. Cause it looks like you're auditioning to be his girlfriend. And how is a guy gonna know if he wants you to be his girlfriend or his wife? If you don't act like one, if you're not already that when you meet him, you ladies like you, you have it backwards. You think that you turning on your feminism, you being feminine, you being soft and nurturing and all that is tied to money. You think there's an on and off switch, but I'm here to tell you, sis, there's no on and off switch. Either you're feminine or you're not. Either you're a gold digger or you're not. Just like a man, either you're a masculine man or you're not. And only simps, only weak men will sit there and buy all this stuff and do all these things for these women just to get their time. Only a simp will do that. And this is what a lot of women want men to become. And guys, you need to understand this if you're not a simp. Because a lot of times women will get with the bad guy because they want to turn him into a simp. You see it happen all the time. They get these guys that all these women want, and then they try to make them weak and simpy and soft. This is what they do. This is what she's trying to do. Everything that she says is backwards. Men appreciate women that are attentive and let them know that, hey, I appreciate you as a man. Men love that. Men don't leave women like that. Sounds like she might have had a bad experience herself. And now she's trying to project that onto everyone else and give women this advice, which is completely backwards. And if you are auditioning to be his girlfriend, you're never going to make it past the tryouts. I promise. I saw a TikTok the other day. This is not, this is not about her. It's no hate to the creator before y'all start calling me bullies and all. Anytime somebody starts us a, a conversation with no disrespect, but don't take this the wrong way, but, uh, this that and the third 
you know that it's an insult. Women do this all the time. It's like a blind insult. It's like, don't be, don't think that I'm um, insulting you. It's almost kind of, kind of gaslighting, right? Don't think that I'm insulting you or I'm talking crazy about you. But, and then you're just supposed to let that go. It's crazy. This is the games that women play, though. Types of names in my comments. Not about her. It's just an example. But she was saying that she's been dating a man since June. It's October. She's been dating this man, and there's been multiple occasions where he's at work and he texts her and says, I'm hungry. I forgot my lunch or you made me some food. So she's like, Oh, yeah, sure. She will go get the food, buy the food, no reimbursement, coming out of pocket and never getting it back, and bring it up to his job like she's a DoorDash driver. Why are you speaking on a, a situation that happened that you really don't know the context to? I don't even believe that it's completely 100% accurate or real. It could be something that you're just making up. But why are you speaking on it as you know, like you know that it's fact, like you know all the details, you know exactly what happens, happened in the relationship, rather, you know what she did, you know what he did. But of course, this is going to all be about what she did right and he did wrong. Let's continue. That That's, that's what it was giving. It was giving DoorDash. And now she's told him... Hey, I really like flowers. Will you buy me some flowers? Which you really should not even ever have to ask a man to buy you flowers. Personally, personal opinion, sorry. Nonetheless, he said, no, I'm not doing it. I don't buy women flowers. That Women don't respect those things anymore. Look, ladies, let me, let me put it plain. Stop trying to act like you're traditional when you want men to do traditional things for you. Flowers, courting, open up car doors, doing all these things. Those are traditional things that men do. All of them. You cannot pick and choose when you want a man to be traditional. The reason why a lot of men don't buy flowers is because women don't respect it. They don't care about it. It's not enough for them. A lot of these women will take those flowers and throw them directly in the trash. I've seen myself personally where a guy gave a woman flowers. He walked away. She laughed about it with her girlfriends and immediately threw it in the trash because it was enough or it wasn't the right flowers or it wasn't enough flowers or they deem it to be soft so stop playing games with this i want the flowers and i want the door if you're gonna want these things from men that are traditional be a traditional woman there's a reason why that guy chooses not to buy women flowers it's probably a waste of money and a waste of time and you usually end up looking like a simp when you do that in this day and age a man is in receiving mode he's not in giving he's in his palm is open it's open and you keep putting stuff in it you keep putting stuff in it so why would he ever turn the tables now for that specific situation i think he really just don't like her that much but that's not my business and that's not my point not your business not your point but you had to say it right because see this is what women do to each other this is why, as a woman, you should never be telling your girlfriends or your friends all your uh, uh, business about your relationships because they will quickly say something like this. I don't think he likes you. I don't think he really cares about you. If he really cared about you, he wouldn't do that. Oh, my God, girl, you should leave him. Oh, my God, girl, I got Tony over here waiting for you. Women do this all the time. That's why you should not be talking to your girlfriends because they want to keep you single, especially if they are single. They don't want you to be happy. They want what you want. If you have a man and they don't, they want you to be single because they need mis they need company. Misery loves company. You understand? If your man looks better than them, they want your man. You understand that? If you look better than them, they want to hang out with you because you're getting attention from men. Ladies, I'm telling you, don't listen to this type of advice. It's not genuine. It's not coming from the heart. If you want to know about men and what men think, ask men. Don't ask women. Don't fall into that whole female umbrella thinking it's some kind of love and empowerment because a lot of it is just straight jealousy and bad advice. My point is, when you as a woman get in the moon where you keep giving and giving and giving, he's going to take and take and take and take. That's interesting. Women are the ones that take and take and take and take and take and give nothing. Men don't do that like that. 
There's not a lot of women that do a lot of things for men in this day and age. They all sit back and say, it's all about me. What you going to do for me? They don't cater to men. They don't care about men. And you're trying to say that he's in a taking mood. And he's just going to keep taking and keep taking and keep taking. What about you, sis? What about your friends like you? All y'all do is take and give nothing in return. But attitude and drama and lies. His hand is open and he's not going to close it. He would be a fool to. Why would he stop taking when he could just keep taking? What do you mean? So Exactly. Why would he stop taking if he can keep taking? Exactly. The thing is, she's talking about women. You have to understand that, guys. She's talking about women. And what she's trying to tell other women is to don't give men anything. Take everything, especially if he's he's going to keep giving it to you. That's all it's about. Because remember, in the beginning, she was talking about how if a man really likes you, really wants you, he's just going to keep giving and giving and giving to prove to you so you can spend time with him. Right. Right. When you get that urge, when that little voice in your head is like, oh, let me go cook him his favorite meal, even though he's never done anything to deserve this. Let me go cook him his favorite meal and drop it by his house. He hasn't done anything to deserve it. <laughs> and, you know, that really makes no sense. See, it's all transactional. It's all you do for me, then I'll do for you. But it's never the other way around. It's never, as a woman, you should do something for your man and he'll do something for you. It's always about the man doing something, the man earning that, earning this, earning that. And this is how these women think. I'm telling you, fellas, be careful. And then he will see what a good girlfriend I would be. You've already lost, babe. You've already lost. Give it up. No, you lost. And you keep losing to a lot of women that are exactly like you described. You can sit there, sit there and try to paint them like they're loser women and they shouldn't be doing all that. But I bet you they have a relationship and you don't. I bet you they probably have a ring and you don't. 